I'm Sandeep Virmani. I'm an architect and an environmentalist working in Kutch, in the villages and in the urban areas. I have been suffering from this problem for uh, probably the last three and a half years or so. And uh, I have gone through uh, several uh, uh, endoscopies and uh, this is the first time that a pH metry uh, is being done on me. Uh, I have also tried some alternate therapies which uh, have uh, not necessarily been very successful. But uh, uh, I find uh, that the uh, entire experience of doing the endoscopy, the uh, understanding that was given to me by Dr. Chirag uh, uh, for this problem that I am facing and this entire procedure that I went through for the last uh, 24 hours has been very comfortable, very easy to do. Of course, there is this one apparatus on you, which uh, me personally, I find even my spectacles, uh, I've never got used to them, but uh, uh, the entire process of actually putting this inside my body was very comfortable. It was in fact, uh, not even 10% of what I had imagined it would be, because the whole uh, pipe goes inside all the way up to my intestines, I believe. Uh, and uh, after this, um, immediately, in fact, after I went from here, after this was fixed onto me, uh, I went for a five hour meeting, in which I also gave a lecture to about 50 people. Uh, and uh, it was completely comfortable. I also had lunch over there. I uh, was uh, talking for almost uh, two and a half hours of the five hours I was there. And it was completely comfortable. Uh, only by the evening because I think I uh, went through uh, so much of talking with a slight uh, uh, hoarseness over here. Uh, but in the evening I slept for an hour and that after that I was again perfectly alright. Uh, I have during this period eaten all kinds of food because the idea was I was earlier on very safe food. But uh, I went and ate in two restaurants. I ate, uh, some of the oily, spicy food as well, so that I could understand what was happening to me. Uh, and it was all right, I was also with a group of friends in the evening. And uh, then I slept very well. I was a little worried whether I'll be able to sleep with this apparatus on. I, in fact, slept very well. It was absolutely no problem. Actually, I slept. Uh, I was a little tired, so I slept uh, very well. And uh, in the morning, I have uh, come back. My name is Sandeep Vermani. I, uh, this problem started about two years ago for me. I'm 56 now, so when I was 54, I had this problem. I uh, realized I had this problem because I got blood in my, in my throat. That is because I had started developing ulcers because of the acid reflux and hydrosomia. I uh, was told about this surgery uh, but I was not feeling very confident at that stage because uh, it seemed like a pretty complicated surgery where part of your stomach is taken to help create the new valve. So I decided to try out different therapies. I uh, also went to a Ved. For six months I did his treatment even though the Ved did tell me that uh, this is a mechanical problem and it cannot be solved through Ayurveda alone. But he has helped me develop my, uh, the problems of my stomach as a whole. But uh, what I found very encouraging with Dr. Chirag Thakkar was that he was very patient. He explained things in great detail. Over the last six months, I must have met him two or three times, three times. And uh, he uh, took the time to explain every detail to me, answer all my questions. And um, finally, I took the decision to go in for the surgery. Yesterday, in the morning, I went in for a heitel hernia surgery. And uh, I was surprised at the speed at which I have recovered. 
since yesterday i was also a little worried whether i will be able to swallow properly and uh, yesterday after the surgery in the night i had some khichdi and uh, it was very easy to uh, take it down today in the morning i had uh, some regular breakfast like upma and now i'm going to have proper lunch and there doesn't seem to be any problems that i am facing i uh, just have a slightly heavy chest because i guess there is an operation but uh, otherwise my energy energy levels are good and i'm looking forward to a new stage in my life without hypersomnia thank you Uh, my name is Sandeep Virmani. I uh, was operated for uh, the laparoscopic fundo application surgery done by uh, Dr. Chirag Thakkar uh, on me, and that operation was done about three months ago. And uh, in this video, I want to share with you the developments that I have gone through the post surgery uh, during the last three months. I had uh, three basic problems that I was facing after the surgery. Uh, one was that I was finding it difficult to swallow uh, food, especially if I ate a little too fast. It would all get stuck in my gullet and then take a, some take some time to slowly go down. The second issue that I was facing was that I was not able to eat too much. I used to normally eat about three or four uh, chapatis uh, as a meal. and i was not able to eat more than one and a half to two rotis uh so therefore i had to also eat many more meals to be able to uh, during the day the uh, third problem these were two problems that chirag i had uh, warned me about that i will go through there was a third problem uh, that i went through which was a difficulty in speaking i was finding it difficult to it was strenuous for me to speak and uh, uh i uh, would uh, start gasping after a little while and uh, all three problems have now gone away after three months uh the first problem of uh, swallowing took about a month and a half before i started uh, being able to swallow easily uh, i could eat even solid foods after about a month and a half uh, i mean i was eating for solid foods but i was Used to find it difficult to uh, to let it go down, but now after about a month and a half, that problem went away. I uh, the uh, within a period of about two and a half months, I have come back to my original diet of about three rotis a day uh, per meal. And uh, the third problem of not being able to speak uh, very easily has also gone away now after about three months. uh i spoke to chirag bhai about it and he explained that because during the surgery the diaphragm is also stitched along with the entire uh, during the operation there is a chance in some cases where uh, it becomes difficult to speak because we don't realize that when we actually speak we are using our lungs a lot in the whole process of speaking and the lungs are connected with our diaphragm and therefore it was making it difficult for me to speak but um, i have uh, now made uh, i have started traveling and uh, normally before the surgery it was so difficult to travel i used to always come back with a lot of uh, problems because of my uh, uh, gerd problem uh, one very surprising benefit that i have gone through which was uh, uh, that i used to ever since i was uh, in my teens i have had about two or three headaches every uh, every month uh, and sometimes even four over the last 3 months i have that has significantly reduced it's been about a, a one a one headache in a month and that to a very slight headache i am not able i am able to also overcome that head, uh, headache by just going to sleep without any medication uh I had a discussion with uh, Dr. Chirag Thakkar, and he has asked me to be careful about one thing, especially throughout my uh, the rest of my life, and that is uh, to eat a little less than what uh, I uh, usually used to do. Uh, 
This will uh, help in making sure that there is no pressure put on the uh, new valve that has been created and therefore it will be able to last throughout the rest of my life. So I want to thank Dr. Chirag for having given me not just a problem, uh, solving my problems of GERD, but also solving the very old problem of my headaches, which I used to have to, I had taken for granted that I'll have to live with. Thank you, Dr. Chirag. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more health-related information.